Are you getting to the stage here and now that your your opening game lineups in your mind? No, I mean as I say, we're five days in it, Pete, and uh, we've still got a number number of weeks to go. Uh, is it five weeks to go already? So uh, a long time between now and, and August fifteenth. Uh, what we have to do is make sure that come August fifteenth we are ready. A tough, tough game at Stoke. So we've got a lot of work ahead of us. No Chris McCann, no Chris Eagles. Uh, can you give us an update on them? Yeah, I mean, I expect them to train on Monday. Uh, I didn't want to risk them today. Uh, they had little niggly injuries. But if they train Monday, I would expect to include them on Tuesday at Morecambe. And, uh, and again, they'll be able to get some fitness under the belts from that. We saw three new faces today altogether. Um, what are the updates on anybody else that you've got bids in for? Well, we have. I mean, we're trying to get one or two in. Uh, but again, a number of factors need to come, come together for that. One, uh, you know, the... The club that we're after need to accept that it was a bid and the player needs to be willing to join. So we'll, we'll continue in our search to bring the right type of player to complement the squad that we have. You've been linked, I think, with Easton. Can you give us an update? Well, have we? I thought you were going to need <laughs> Yeah, you started at Easton, I thought you were going to go with three, three or four there. Uh, yeah, we're always going to be linked with players, and that's understandable. What I would say is, I mean, uh, we'll continue and try and do it in a professional manner where the club's concerned. And if we're able to reach a, an amicable agreement, then we'll announce it. McCartney was also linked again. I know it's all paper talk, but I mean, any official bids in on, on these players? No, I mean, you're always going to be linked. That's the nature at this stage of the, uh, the season or the build up, should I say, to the season. So uh, there's always going to be speculation. I don't really enter into that, particularly when, when players are at other clubs. Uh, and uh, we'll continue not to. In an ideal world, you've three in. How many more would realistically would would you want to bring in? Well, I still like to add to the squad. I mean, I can't say whether it's three, four, five, whatever. Yeah, but I'm certainly looking to, to to improve the squad and help the lads that we already have and have real competition for places. I mean, it's well well known, well documented that we with 18 players in the smallest squad in the championship last year. So we need to add to that for the Premier League, and we'll continue to do that. And hundreds of fans made the journey. I know it's not a great distance to uh, back to Burnley, but I mean, what do you make of that following for a pre-season friendly? Fantastic. I mean, particularly for the first one, knowing that we were uh, less than a week's training under our belt, and they were vocal and they were colourful, and uh, you know, so I think it was good that they get to see the new boys that come in, and uh, I've got no doubt that Fletcher would have caught their eye.